Well, she never gave up on her dreams, and now she's on America's Got Talent. Olivia Calderon is anxiously awaiting tonight's results to see if she'll advance to the live shows. Yeah, and I had a chance to talk with the 47-year-old Tempe detention officer who told me no matter what, she has never given up on her dreams. My name's Olivia Calderon. The road to America's Got Talent has been a winding one for Olivia Calderon. The Tempe corrections officer has been through a divorce, career changes, and the death of her father, who was her musical mentor. Calderon says, through it all, the music is what's kept her going. It all started with, I love to sing. Um, and dad and I always dreamed of me being on a big stage. Calderon has already advanced through the first round of cuts. She sings traditional Mexican Tejano music with unforgettable passion. Calderon says when she's on stage, she's singing for everyone who's helped get her to this point. How exciting has this whole process been? It's been very exciting. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, nervousness, stress, but all in all, it's been an amazing experience that I will I don't regret. As for tonight's show, she says she'll be with close friends, anxiously waiting to see if she advances to the next round. Calderon says no matter what happens tonight, she feels like getting this far has been a major accomplishment. My advice to follow your dreams. There are gonna be times I've had situations in my life where I wasn't sure if that dream was gonna be fulfilled. Nothing stopped me. I just keep keep going and keep going, taking the risk, taking that opportunity. She was absolutely wow. her performance gave me chills. I watched the entire segment. It's on YouTube and uh, folks, you should watch it. Uh, you could watch America's Got Talent right here on 12 News tonight, starting at seven o'clock. But after I talked to her yesterday, I was there at the Tempe um, Police Department doing another story and I happened to run into her and, I, and her story is so inspiring. Yeah. And what she told me is she's been through so much in terms of relationships, life, career. And at 47 years old, she said, you know what? I'm not giving up. Yeah. And she feels like her dad, like she said in the piece, is her guiding light who passed away four years ago. So, and my dad was a corrections officer. So, so I'm like really rooting for her son. Yeah. So, and I know what she goes through on a, on a daily basis. So and for her, just a wonderful story, that's wonderful part, person. All these individual stories are part of the magic oh, yeah. that they bring onto the stage. It's not just their talent, it's what they've overcome, yeah. which makes it an even better story. No, exactly. Yeah. So, and she really feels like she, the entire state of Arizona is with her. So yes. I, think, I think that's yes, the best part. So yeah, so good luck. good luck. Watch it right here tonight at seven o'clock.